Does your large painting sometimes feel lifeless or dull? Chances are you need more texture and layering in your work. Take a look over my shoulder as I work on these two paintings and see some of the many options you have available. What household items you can use and what texture effects you can create that will take your artwork to the next level. In this two-part series, I'll be working on loose canvas, but the techniques can also be used on board and heavy watercolor paper. Please use these examples as inspiration to make your own experiments and discoveries. Here I'm using some ink tense uh, sticks to create lines and expressive mark making on the canvas. You can also use oil pastels, but uh, personally I prefer to keep all my uh, media water soluble. Try using your whole arm or body when making large marks. They will be a lot more expressive that way. After the mark making, I will use a clean brush with water on it to soften some of the marks. Most of these will be uh, very subtle and uh, almost invisible from a distance, but uh, the marks will help um, to add a lot of uh, great texture and interest when the canvas is viewed up close. Here the paintings are a bit further along and I want to show you how I use scraping and scratching into wet paint before the paint has fully dried. It's a great way to add some texture and I can use different tools. The first one I used was a large painting knife, again trying to use my whole arm to make the marks. Second tool is an iron scrubber, normally used to clean pots and pans, and it makes really nice uh, marks that I can't achieve in any other way. Another great tool is a spray bottle with water. You can try it on both wet paint and half dry paint. Let it run and drip and try wiping some of the paint off again with some paper towel. You can also use a rag or some baby wipes. Try out all three things and see which one is your favorite. Here I am applying some paint with a trowel again, as I did in part one, and then wiping some of the paint off again with some paper towel. I will keep adding layers like this until I feel I have an interesting surface. I'll also combine these techniques with adding a bit of acrylic spray paint, and I also did another video on how to create awesome texture using cling wrap. I will put links to those videos on your screen so you can go and watch more. And don't forget, if you are looking for more ways to loosen up your painting style, then go and download my free painting guide, Five Proven Ways to Loosen Up Your Painting Style. See the link below. As always, Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.